It is February 20th of 2021. We are in the middle of the blizzard in Texas crisis. These are some of my youngest babies. I'm just going through, we have power on. We have water, we have gas right now. I'm kind of checking on everybody. Okay. That doesn't sound like respiratory hissing. That sounds like cranky berm hissing. She's okay. She's okay. He's okay. Big thanks to Ryan and Ben from R&B for getting him to me safely. She's okay. And this is my newest little baby blue tongue, also from R&B Reptiles. And he's a little spitfire. We, this is maybe day six of the really bad storm. The temperatures had been fluctuating from just above freezing to down into the single digits. We have had snow, we've had sleet, we've had freezing fog. It's caused electrical power grids to shut down, propane and natural gas shortages, burst water pipes. It's been, I mean, imagine collections of reptiles with no heat, no water, no access to food. The grocery stores are empty right now. Uh, trucks cannot come in, people cannot get out. It's, people are dying, people are dying from freezing to death, people are dying from trying to stay warm and dying from carbon monoxide poisoning. It's really scary. There's not been school where I live all week because the city was afraid to turn on the electricity and the internet in the school because it was going to take power away from the grid and we've had these power surges that might fry everything. It's been it's been scary. Um, I know that a lot of people have been really struggling. Um, Kelly Swift has been having a hard time. I know Dave Kaufman had some huge losses. Um, Mike Brizzy had a huge crisis. Um, I don't know if his home is even going to be able to be recovered. Brooke Bernson had a major loss in his collection. He has a beautiful zoo. Chris Dieter, it looks like, has not lost anybody. His place is looking amazing. SNS Exotics in Houston, they have every animal from their shop inside of a house right now. And if you've ever been in that shop, it's that's a phenomenal feat. I know that Ryan Sullivan is struggling right now. Earl Jones from Lone Star Reptiles is the man. He had his generator on backup, so he's in a, a really good place. We have suffered loss, but we are blessed, blessed, blessed. Um, most of the collection is looking really good. I'm gonna nurse things along after this and make sure everything stays warm. And of course, we're gonna have to feed carefully in case the power goes back out. Um, I want to thank Chris Eaton for rallying people to our support and send my love and support to everybody that's out there. Um, we have done everything that we can to keep the people and the animals that we love safe 
and those who have not been able to do that, my heart goes out to you. Um, it's been scary. Oh, also during all this, also the cell phone towers were out. And so uh, we're in a rural area. And so it felt very, I don't know. You felt very isolated and there's no access to anything. It felt, it felt kind of apocalyptic. It was scary. Um, it's still scary. We're not out of the woods yet but the snow started melting off today and things are looking up. As you can see, we have electric right now. I washed my hair today. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah. It, it's been, it's been frightening. We're okay. So thank you everyone that has been asking. And if you need anything, if there's anything I can do for you, reach out. And if I can't help you, maybe you, I can find someone else who can. So I love you guys. Texas strong. And I know a lot of people in other states are being hit by the weather that either were prepared and it just was too severe or I don't know, lots of things are happening. So I just hope that everyone is well and safe. And if you have experienced loss or crisis, then my heart goes out to you and I am sending my love and support out to everyone who is struggling through the weather right now. Just doing a check-in and letting you guys know that we are still here, going strong, and we'll see you guys soon.